Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Saddle Up Shooting. I'm Dave Strohmeyer, your host. Uh, I've been around long enough to know that now when everybody talks about a legacy cartridge, like the 30-06, the 270, hey, I was around uh, when those things were pretty hot. The 270, you know, uh, Mr. O'Connor, Outdoor Life Magazine, touted it as the greatest uh, thing that ever came by. Well, we're in the first quarter of the 21st century now, and a plethora of new cartridges have come out with the same calibers, but more efficient designs, uh, less powder is involved, uh, specialized cartridges for specialized purposes, which to a hunter and a hunter's heart is just perfect. Well, that's what I have up here today. It is a 270 caliber, but uh, the military used a metric designation for, and called it the 6.8 SPC. Now, this particular rifle is SPC-2, which is the improved version after the original botch by Remington, uh, with cartridge dimensions, case dimensions, uh, didn't have the uh, velocity that was originally touted, but they improved it with the SPC-2. Uh, by by giving a more generous chamber so that you can put more powder into the into the case and get higher velocity and the Texas pig hunters can't be wrong can they and they love this cartridge so now this is probably my fourth uh, video on the SPC we're going to be testing brand new bullets today a hundred grain spear legacy bullet that is a varmint bullet 100 grain Target set up at 100 yards. Let's go ahead and talk about it some more and get to shooting and testing. Be right back. Now the bullet I'll be shooting is a spear, 100 grain. Uh, Boy, it's a funny looking thing with a great big hollow point. I don't know if you can see that there, but I'll show it to you on the close up. Now, comparing this against the 270 Winchester is not a good comparison, but if you're looking for something, uh, you know, especially for a guy my age where I don't walk as far anymore, you know, my eyesight isn't good as when I was in my 20s, uh, and I don't necessarily like recoil anymore. And because I can get a cartridge that can shoot very efficiently out to 300 yards and kill whatever I'm after, match to the bullet, then uh, I'm all for it. That's where new technology comes in. New powders, new efficient cases, new everything, uh, you know, ballistic profiles of, of the bullet, uh, Doppler radar. Uh, it, you know, it's just a wonderful time to be around. Well, this 6.8 SBC has half the powder of a 270 Winchester. Half the powder. It can shoot the same bullets up to that 140 grainish uh, capacity. Uh, these 100 grains I'm going to test. I hope to get about 2,800 feet per second. Now, the 130 grain Winchester uh, soft point, uh, you know, the silver box that we've been using for 50 years uh, only has a, a ballistic coefficient in the threes of 130 grains and it is touted at 33,050 feet per second. So if I can get this 110 to 2900, you do the math at half the powder and whether and I'm only going to be shooting under 300 yards. Sounds all good to me. All right, well, let me go turn the camera on down there. Target set up at 100 yards, and let's go ahead and get to testing these. I'm using two different powders. I'm using Accurate Arms 2200 and Alliant Power Pro Varmint. Uh, Power Pro Varmint is supposed to have the highest velocity, velocity so I'm kind of looking forward to that. My COL is set at 2.255, which is a little short. This particular chamber and magazine can go to 2.280 and the 6.0 SPC can go to a higher pressure tolerance of 58,000 PSI instead of the normal 52,000 PSI for AR-15 type setups. Okay, 
Let me go turn the camera on down there. Let's go ahead and test and see what the results are. I really like this cartridge. Okay, first three with accurate arms, 2200. I'm using, uh, I'm going to go from 29.5 to 30.5. Brand new Starline Barrage, CCI 450 small rifle Magnum primers. And I already said COL 2.255. All right, here we go. Get the chronograph plugged in. All right, chronograph is ready. about one inch high that was 27.95 right off the bat wow And a pretty sweet little group. That went up to 29.01. Woo! Let's take a look at these here. Yeah, that 29, that was just, that must have been a funny load that, you know, hand loader's fault. That happens. But the cases look good except for that 2900. That looks a Got a little bit of an ejection smear on it. All right, I'll reset up, give you the numbers. Go set up the camera again. Be right back. All right, here we go. Target right above the last one I shot. Twenty-eight, thirty-eight. Twenty-eight sixty-one. Twenty-eight sixty-seven. That last shot, I kind of rushed, I think, but uh, all in all, pretty good group. All right, cases look fine. All right, you know the drill. Reset up. Okay, that last average SD came down to 18, and that was an average of uh, 28.55. So I'm getting there. You know, I'm 45 feet per second below 2,900, which is where I want to be, and I'm at where it says I'm supposed to be in the Hodgson's manual. So all's good. Uh, accuracy isn't too bad. All right. Uh, all right, going up to 30.5. Okay, target right next to the last one I shot. I'm gonna take my time here because I think I threw that third shot on that last group. My bag wasn't real steady. Wind is about 15 miles an hour going left to right, or right to left, rather. 2900. Goal achieved. Twenty nine twelve. And that group opened up pretty doggone good, and I know that my trigger pull was good. All right, that was 29.32. All right, let's uh, 
reset, give you the numbers, move on to Power Pro Varmint Powder. And uh, big shout out to Varminter Magazine. He sold me these bullets. Uh, he was doing a garage sale for his business. And I bought these spears for 10 cents a piece. I bought 200 of them, 100 grain. So I, I can use those up because I also bought from him 50 of the Na Nosler 100 grain Acubons, which would be a terrific deer hunting bullet. But I'm gonna use the load data from here for those bullets because there's only 50 of them. And as far as I know, I, I think Nosler discontinued that line of bullets. I don't know that, but you can't buy them anywhere. All right, so here we go with the, with the Power Pro Varmint. You can see that the wind has kind of kicked up a little bit. Might be a little bit of havoc there at 100 yards, but I sort of doubt it. All right. Get a good hold, good breath. Eyes on, ears in, let her loose. Twenty six ninety. A little slower than that AA twenty two hundred. slower and I'm only going to go up to 33.5 and I think the max load in Hodgson's chart was 33.9 so that's a full half grain below listed max that I'll go to. Okay the cartridges look great. They're not even sooty. They look brand new. Really efficient design here. All right reset up. Let's get going. Okay, not too bad. 26.96 average on that first load. Uh, SD of uh, 14. And the accuracy was really, well, the precision was really good. I'd like to have single digits uh, in terms of SD. Uh, sorry for the wind. There's nothing I can do about it. I don't know what kind of wind noise you hear on my camera until I get to editing. And sometimes it can be just downright rude. But I'm not going to argue with God. It's a beautiful day. Uh, he brings the wind, and I appreciate it. All right, here we go. I just went up a half a grain to 33 grains. Be the target right above the last one I shot. Eyes on, ears in. Let me try a little bit different position. Seven thirty. Twenty seven forty two. again. Maybe this will be a better shot anyway. <laughs> taking, taking my time. Yeah, sometimes shooting a video <laughs> isn't real conducive to proper load work. I feel kind of pressure. You guys are watching. <laughs> All right, that was 2703. All right, let's set up for the last three. I don't think we're going to get to that 2,900 feet per second with uh, Power Pro Varmint, but it might surprise you. Okay, that last average was nothing to shout out. 
35 and a standard deviation of 19. Time for a little commercial break. I'm told by YouTube and others, uh, other gun guys on YouTube, to ask you specifically to check the notification bell for my future videos. I generally do one every Saturday on reloading, uh, that kind of stuff, and sometimes at different rifles that I own. Uh, none of the rifles that you see on my channel belong to anybody else other than me. Nobody gives me anything. I'm not promoted. I, I, not in anybody's pocket. I provide this information for you. And what you can do to pay me back is to give me a thumbs up, to subscribe, check the notification bell for my future videos. Let's get to testing these last three and see what happens. Let's hope for the best group of the day. Generally happens on the last three. No guarantees. Oh, I, I felt that one. I pulled it, folks. That's on me. I knew that one. That went right where the scope ended up when the trigger broke. Okay. 2791 on that last one. Okay, folks. Well, let's get back to the barn, analyze this target, go over some numbers uh, for 130 grain 270 Winchester and this 100 grain and 6.8 SBC. It'll be kind of interesting for you, I hope. It's not a direct comparison, they can't compare, but I think it'll be kind of fun to look. All right, see you back at the barn. Okay, here we go real quick uh, with the targets. Over here is the 6.8 SBC2 100 grain spear, accurate arms 2200. All right, first three shots, 0.465 and average 2824. 7.8. 9, 0.791, 28.55, uh, 1.05, 29.14, and you know, today was not a good day for the shooter. Uh, I was not steady, uh, but that's neither here nor there. We were after the precision numbers and we got that. So here we are uh, with the uh, power probe armament now. Uh, average of 2696.262 on that first three shots. Then 1.08, 2725 uh, velocity, 2760 velocity, 1.49. Now what's interesting, according to the books here, at 33.9 it's supposed to be 2940. I was a long ways away from that, folks, and I could only go up four more tenths of a grain. All right, but here's the fun part. Let's take a look at how this thing fares against the 270 Winchester. Okay, over here is the 270 Winchester, 3320, a ballistic coefficient of 0.252. This is a Remington Corelock factory uh, ammo. Uh, I took this right off the internet with a G1BC of 2.252. Out to 300 yards, a 9.9 inch drop, and we still have 1,222 of energy. Okay, over here then is a 6.8 SBC Two with the spear 100 grain, a lower ballistic coefficient of 0.225. Uh, the velocity, as you saw in the video, 29.32. Okay, at 300 yards, 8.34, and a 14 and a half inch drop. So now let's take a look. 9.9, 14.5, 12.22, 8.34, 14.5. Less powder, folks. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said earlier in the video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this channel if you want. Uh, but no matter what, God bless you all. Subscribe, please. See you next time. Goodbye.